Those of you that have been watching us for a bit may know that we love the Nintendo Switch around here, and have for a while been praying to whatever non-existent deity is up there to deliver us a sequel to that console. When we last spoke about it, the rumour mill wasn't exactly busy, it was uh, just a lot of speculation and guesswork, but just recently the rumour mill seems to have heated up, and we're seeing more and more supposed leaks and reports coming from industry insiders, so I thought now would be a nice time to take a quick roundup of some of the more recent ones. Just keep in mind that this is all speculative, rumours, random leaks, um, there is no actual verification behind a lot of this stuff. Anyone that tells you that they've got solid news about a Switch 2, they don't. It's all just insider stuff and random leaks, so take all of this with the biggest grain of salt. Now this information is coming out of a website called Tom's Guide, which is currently offering me digital venereal disease here with Norton. Uh, and they've done a little roundup of all the recent rumours. Now, scrolling down here, we've got the latest news that they updated on the 7th of September. And we're just going to go through some of these, see if there's any credence behind them and what we think. So, we'll start down here. The Nintendo Switch 2 has been tipped to cost $399. $50 more expensive than the Switch OLED. The price just tipped and it could be a game changer. $399, $50 more than the Switch OLED. OLED. News leaks about a successor to the Nintendo Switch have hinted at a possible price point that's almost too good to believe. Now, I think it's pretty reasonable to assume that whatever comes out is going to be more expensive than the original Switch, or maybe even the Switch OLED, if they've gone to the trouble of putting a lot of power in there. Um, that's still a lower price than the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. I would love for that to be true. Um, who knows if it would be. I feel like Nintendo does usually exist in that space of trying to make things uh, reasonably priced. So there is some credence behind that. Whether or not that comes to fruition with some of the rumours that are more recent relating to power, then that might not be quite so believable. Next up, an industry insider reports that the Nintendo Switch 2 will include a camera and the console have, may have been shown to select members of the press. Here we go then, the Nintendo Switch may have a camera. Great. Don't really care, I'm not even sure if that's worth reporting on to be honest. Um, a poster going by the username Angie on the popular gaming forum Reset Era has claimed there is a new camera function with the Switch 2. Same account also notes that it's not sure if it's a VR camera, so the exact purpose of the camera appears to be undetermined. Uh, I mean, there could be some truth to that. There probably is some truth to that. Most devices coming out have a camera, to be honest. Maybe not games consoles quite so much. Um, I think they've done that kind of thing before with things like the DSi, when that had a camera. And it was just used for a few little gimmicks here and there, wasn't it? Or taking really bad pictures and sending them while you're supposed to be in class to your mates. I, if they popped a camera in there, I can't imagine it'd be very useful. Um, especially if that caused a little bit of a price bump. That'd be annoying. Um... I don't know if this is true, I couldn't really say whether or not they would do that, and honestly, I don't really care, it's a camera, does it really matter? Anyway, next up, a fresh leak via Reddit, because that's where we get all of our reliable news, has suggested the Switch 2 will see a huge performance boost and that Final Fantasy VII Remake could be a launch title. It's never good when your launch titles are already sort of six or seven years old, that's not usually a good sign. Final Fantasy VII Remake looks and runs like a PS5 game on Switch 2, Leaker claims. Rumours about Nintendo's successor to its best-selling Nintendo Switch console keep pouring in. Exciting new leaks this week tease that the Switch 2 could sport Final Fantasy VII Remake as a launch title and the game runs just as well on the new hardware as it does on the PlayStation 5. Okay, cool. First of all, Final Fantasy VII Remake coming to a Nintendo console, that's great. I love that game. It's really good. Um, don't think it's all that wise to celebrate it being a launch title. Um, I would hope that we'd have some good new stuff. Um, if they wanted to bring a Final Fantasy over the, that's closer to launch, I'd bring over 16, but hey-ho, what are you going to do? Um, if it looks and runs like a PlayStation 5, fair enough, but Final Fantasy 7 Remake doesn't exactly have a high ceiling in terms of graphics. I mean, I can make it look like a PS5 if I was playing it on my ROG Ally, to be honest, because really the settings are just the settings, and as long as you can run it on high, it's, it's, it's fine, isn't it? I think a lot of people are going to get a bit confused here, a little bit um, speculative uh, and getting their hopes up that the Switch is going to be as powerful as a PS5. It's it's 
almost certainly not going to be the case. Um, Nintendo doesn't really do matching spec for spec on the hardware of the competition because they don't usually compete in that space. Um, if there was in any way a chance of it being as powerful as a PlayStation 5, you'd probably develop biceps just by playing it. It'd have to be that heavy. Um, I think if there was any credence to it and that it had PS5 level power, it'd probably be some kind of external GPU or something like that in the dock that maybe gives it a performance boost, but that would absolutely shoot the price up. It would totally challenge that price point that we saw in previous rumours. Um, I think what we're probably seeing here is just a title that probably isn't pushing the PS5 very hard being something that it can run through some heavy upscaling. So uh, absolutely take that one with a pinch of salt. Hell, a whole bottle of salt. Next up, the launch date has been tipped in a new analyst report, and it's earlier than we perhaps expected. And this was just a couple of days ago. Um, industry analysts believe Switch 2 will surface next year. I've always wondered who these industry analysts actually are. Does anyone know an industry analyst? I hear that term thrown around quite a lot in this kind of space. Um, and it's just rumours in the end. It doesn't matter if you're an industry analyst. It's still just a rumour. It's still just a guess. Um, so what they're suggesting is that Nintendo's next-gen hardware, whatever it is, will likely launch in 2024. Uh, and while previous rumours have pointed towards a launch date that falls in the third or fourth quarter of the year, Tech Insight believes that a release date in March or April is more likely as it would help Nintendo make up ground against Sony's juggernaut PlayStation 5. That is just a prediction. That is a best guess. Yes, it would make sense to compete against the PlayStation 5, but if they wanted to just look at competing against the PlayStation 5, they probably should have had it done a year ago. I can't imagine two more quarters is going to make much difference. I, I don't see how this bears any real semblance to any kind of fact. Um, analysts are always just guessing these things. Um, believe that if you want to believe that. I'd like to believe that. I'd love to have a Switch 2 earlier than the Q3 or Q4. Um, it could be 2025. Who knows? And last up... Eurogamer reports that the Nintendo Switch 2 was showcased to developers at Gamescom, including a new version of Breath of the Wild. Some select partners got eyes on Switch 2 at Gamescom 2023. The report claims that one of the Switch 2 demos was a new version of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild that was designed to hit the Switch 2's beefier target specifications. However, Eurogamer notes that this was just a tech demo and there's been no suggestion from the source that Nintendo is planning to re-release the game for the Switch 2. Okay, so that doesn't really tell us much at all. <laughs> um, so if they're showing a version on newer hardware, it's most likely not even actually any kind of release candidate hardware. It's probably just hardware that's designed to look and feel like what they're targeting, especially where they've said Switch 2's target specifications. Um, yeah, I could do that on a laptop right now. I could load up Breath of the Wild and show you it on their target specifications if I knew them because emulation exists. This isn't really something special. The fact that they're showing it to developers, that's great. Um, I can't really see why this wouldn't be true. It would make sense for Nintendo to get involved at trade shows and, and, and show um, insiders this kind of thing. Um, we've seen it before with the old uh, Zelda tech demo that came out before the GameCube, the little bait and switch with the realistic link. This would be great um, if it's true, because it means that Nintendo is at least uh, starting to push it out to show developers and get some interest in third party support. I don't really think this moves forward the rumor mill or tells us anything that we need to even know, to be honest. It's just insider stuff. And that really is about it. That's all the recent leaks. What do we think of them? I think a lot of them are pretty pointless. I think quite often uh, the internet will grab onto whatever little piece of information they can, overblow it. I don't think any of these really change the face of the game. We still know absolutely nothing. Uh, you know, the original price of 399 if that's the case, great. But then that means that it won't be PS5 power. Um, if it has PS5 power, it would absolutely be more than 399 especially if it's got portable and docked stuff going on. 
I, I, I'm excited to see what comes next. I hope we get, start to see some more actual Nintendo confirmation, that kind of thing. Um, my predictions with the Switch 2 is probably just a beefed up new version of the uh, Tegra, um, whatever Nintendo's been working on, and that it'll heavily target using DLSS um, to produce better resolutions and better performance. Uh, backwards compatibility is a must for me. I've got a massive Switch library, so I really hope I can play all of that. But let's wait and, wait and see. This all is all just rumours. It's just a rumour mill flying around. So let's see what happens next. And when something does happen, we'll let you know. If you like this, make sure to leave a like, maybe subscribe. We'd really appreciate that. And we will see you in the next one.